Hello guys, this is Pawan Kumar and you are watching RQB Studies. In this video, we will be learning about conversion of units. And this is very important video if you are an architecture student or preparing for any architecture entrance examinations like NATA, JEE Men's Paper 2, AAT or GATE Architecture. So about the content of the video, first we will see the units and formulas. And then second, we will see some sample questions to practice. So now let's see what the whole video is about. So first one, we have SI system of units. Okay, so that is also called as international standard. So in the SI system, the length is measured in meters, mass in kilograms, time in seconds, amount in mole, temperature in Kelvin, electric current in ampere, and luminous intensity in candela. Now just think if you add meters, what do you call it? And if you divide meters in so many parts, what do you call it? So this can be done with the help of this conversion table. If you take meter as a base unit, if you write meter over here. If you go up, you multiply meter with the 10. And if you go down, you divide meter by 10. So in decameter, there will be 10 meters. In hectometer, there will be 100 meters. Similarly, in kilometer, there will be 1000 meters. Similarly, if you go downwards in a meter, there will be 10 decimeters and in 1 meter there will be 100 centimeters keeps on going till the octometer now similarly you can take for kilogram in this kilogram gram is the base unit if you take gram over here then in the gram if you go upwards so there will be decagram hectogram and kilogram megagram gigagram similarly till yotagram so in 1 kilogram there will be 1000 grams and if you go downwards so there will be uh, decigram, centigram, milligram. So in one gram, there will be 100 centigrams. And milligrams will be 1000. So how do you read these units? If you are going up, you will say in one kilometer, there are 1000 meters. If you are going down, you will say in one meter, there are 1000 millimeters. In that sense, we read. Second is the imperial system of units. Or you can also call it as a better system of units. So in this one, Distance is measured in inches, feet, yard, and mile. Like in the SI system, there is no order or the like variation in the inches and feet. Like there is no correct formula that you have to multiply 10 or 12 or something to convert inches into miles or yards. So there is no particular way. It is just the way it is. And mass is measured in uh, grains, ounce, quarter, stone, pound, and ton. This ton is different from that T O N N E. This ton. This ton is a metric ton and this ton is a imperial ton. And volume is measured in fluid ounce, a gill, pint, quarter, gallon. And area is measured in acres, square miles, square feet, square inches. So this is the conversion table which we use for converting imperial conversion and also to imperial to metric. So in the imperial conversion, if you want to convert one feet into inches, so there are 12 inches in one feet. In one yard, there are three feet in one yard there are 36 inches that is how if you multiply 12 with 3 you will get 36 inches similarly in one mile there are 1760 yards mass can be measured with the help of pounds so in one pound there are 16 ounces. one ton equal to 2000 pounds so these are very important you have to remember these like not all but just the base ones like this one you can remember you can remember these all so whatever you think it's good or helpful you have to remember that and you have to keep practicing it so similarly for volume or capacity in one cup there are eight fluid ounce okay one pint two cups it's like this one quarter equal to two pints and in one gallon there are four quarts okay now if you convert four quarts into fluid ounce you will get 128 ounce next we have imperial system to metric 1 inch equal to 2.54 centimeter this is very important we have to remember this anyhow and one feet also this is also very important i mean all are important but these are very important so one yard equal to 91.44 centimeters it means you multiply 30.48 into 3 you will get 91.44 centimeters if you want to convert this in meter you divide by 100 one mile equal to 1609.34 meters you can also say 1.6 kilometers for mass we have one ounce equal to 28.34952 grams so you can take this that is enough one pound equal to 
जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव थ्री फाइव नाइन के जी एंड वन पाउंड इक्वल टू इफ यू कन्वर्ट दिस इन ग्राम्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई थाउजेंड यू विल गेट ग्राम्स सिमिलरली वन टन इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन जीरो सेवन वन टन दिस इज मेट्रिक टन दिस इज एम्पेरियल टन एंड फॉर वॉल्यूम वी हैव वन गैलन इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट सेवन एट फाइव लीटर्स वन फ्लू डन इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन एम एल वन कप इक्वल टू टू थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव नाइन एम एल वन प्रिंट इक्वल टू फोर सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन सेवन सिक्स एम एल सिमिलरली वन क्वाड इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फोर सिक्स लीटर्स वॉट आई जस्ट रिकमेंड यू इज यू की प्रैक्टिसिंग दैम सम आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड सम आर नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट लाइक दिस गैलेंस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट और पाउंड इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इंचज फीट यार्ड्स माइल ओके सो ऑल दीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट विच यू सी लाइक इन कॉमन डेली लाइफ दट आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड रेस्ट यू कैन लीव सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव टेम्परेचर कन्वर्जन इफ यू सी अट थर्मामीटर सो यू विल सी द नंबर लाइक दिस इन बोथ साइड इन सेल्सियस एंड फेर एन हाइट नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट सेल्सियस टू फेर एन हाइट यू जस्ट कीप द वैल्यू ऑफ सेल्सियस ओवर हेयर एंड कैलकुलेटेड यू विल गेट टेम्परेचर इन फेर एन हाइट एंड सिमिलरली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट फेर एन हाइट टू सेल्सियस यू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ फेर एन हाइट इन दिस वन एंड कैलकुलेट यू विल गेट द वैल्यू इन सेल्सियस एंड टू कन्वर्ट सेल्सियस टू कैलवेन यू हैव टू एड टू सेवेंटी थ्री and to convert kelvin into celsius you have to subtract 20 to 73 this is the simple formula which you can practice now let's see few sample questions and convert them and this is how you will see questions in the examinations so first one is uh, convert the following measurements into meters so uh, we have 280 cm so in 1 meter 1 meter equal to 100 centimeters okay so for that 280 centimeters will be equal to 280 divided by 100 2.80 meters okay this is the answer of a so we have to convert mm into meter so 1 meter equal to 100 centimeters and 1 centimeter equal to 10 mm so 1 meter equal to 1000 mm okay so similarly here so you will get 56.1 meter now for kilometers uh in 1 kilometer there are 1000 meters ओके सो थ्री पॉइंट सेवन इंटू वन थाउजेंड यू विल गेट थ्री सेवन जीरो जीरो मीटर्स सो दिस वॉज वेरी सिंपल वन ओके दिस इज बी दिस इज सी नेक्स्ट इज कन्वर्ट द फॉलोइंग मेजरमेंट्स इंटू एम एल ओके सो इन वन लीटर there are 1000 ml okay so similarly this one 0.75 liter will have 0.75 into 1000 you will get 750 ml okay this is the answer of first one or a1 now for micrometers so in 1 ml there are 1000 microliter so this can be done dividing 32000 by 1000 you will get 32 ml this one is little bit difficult so 0.5 meter cube One centimeter cube equal to one mL. How this came? Because in one liter, so you will get one mL equal to this much. Okay. Now we have to find out the centimeter cubes in meter cube. So if you take the cube of meter, like You see like this. It is one meter, one meter, 
and 1 meter so it will have 100 centimeters this side 100 centimeters this side 100 this side so 100 into 100 into 100 you will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 lakh centimeter cube so we have to multiply this one with 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 into this number you will get 5 1 2 3 4 5 ml okay hope you got it so now third question is which is greater 45 kg or 4500 grams so as we know that 1 kg equal to 1000 grams so this will become 4.5 kg so of course this one is greater question number four is which is greater 45 miles or 63 kilometers so we have learned in the previous slide that one mile equal to 1.6 kilometer so 45 miles equal to 45 into 1.6 so this comes 72 miles sorry kilometers so of course this one is greater how many cubic feet are there in room measuring 5 meter by 10 meter by 2 meter so we know that in one feet there are 30.48 centimeter so now to find out the number of feet in one meter we have to divide meter by 30.48 centimeters so one meter equal to 100 centimeters divided by 30.48 centimeters 3.28 feet now in the whole room it will be 5 into 3.28 into 10 into 3.28 into 2 into 3.28 cubic feet so this comes 3528.75 cubic feet so now next question is what is the mass of 120 pound person in grams so here you can see 1 pound equal to 453.59 grams so 1 pound equal to 453.59 grams so 120 pound equal to 120 into 453.59 so this comes 5443.8 gram what is the height in meters of a 5 feet 3 inches person so in 1 feet there are 30.48 centimeter so uh, 5 into 30.48 plus 3 inches will be 3 into 2.54 centimeter because in one inch there are 2.54 centimeters so 3 into 2.54 centimeters so this comes 160.02 centimeter so now to convert into meters divide by 100 so it will be 1.6002 meters so now in this question the density of iron is 7.86 gram per centimeter cube under standard conditions convert this into kg per meter cube kg per meter cube equal to 1000 grams upon 100 into 100 into 100 centimeter cube so this becomes 0 0.001 gram per centimeter cube
now put the value of gram per centimeter cube over here so this will be 7.86 into 2 kg per meter cube upon 0.001 so this becomes 7.86 into 1000 kg per meter cube kg per meter cube so this is the answer hope you got it so ninth question we have converted the following temperatures given below so first one is 25 degree celsius into fahrenheit celsius to fahrenheit that is this one so 9 by 5 into celsius plus 32 So this becomes nine by five into twenty-five plus thirty-two. Five five by twenty-five. Forty-five plus thirty-two becomes seventy-seven degree Fahrenheit. Second is reverse Fahrenheit to Celsius. Fahrenheit to Celsius we have this one five by nine. I have my thirty-two. So five by nine, F minus thirty-two Fahrenheit minus thirty-two. So this is five by nine. This we have one zero two minus thirty-two. Five by nine into seventy. So this comes thirty-eight point. Eight 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 degree Celsius. Third is three hundred Kelvin to degree Fahrenheit. So this we can first we have to convert into degree Celsius, then we can convert it to Fahrenheit. So three hundred Kelvin minus two seventy three. This comes twenty seven degree Celsius. Now degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. Apply this formula. So you will get nine by five into twenty-seven plus thirty-two. This comes forty-eight point six plus thirty-two. So you can add. This is the answer. So now at last, uh, this question is for you. Uh, just do it and write the answers in the comment section. Let me see how many of you know the answer. So before leaving this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe.